Hi everybody and welcome to Sirmione on the south shore of Garda Lake. It has a very long peninsula which divides the lower part of the lake. Let's visit it together. And what can you do in Sirmione? Surely you can take a walk along the alleys of the historical center. Finding quite soon the main square, Piazza Carducci. But this place hides real treasures. The main historical attraction of Sirmione are the so-called Grotte di Catullo, the most striking example of a Roman villa discovered in the northern of Italy. The Scaligero Castle, 13th century, is a rare example of medieval fort fortification. The small church Santana della Rocca, next to the castle, dates from the 12th century. Sirmione is between the towns of Desenzano and Peschiera. Easily reachable from the A4 highway. To visit the medieval city, you can follow this route, starting from Grotte di Catullo, as soon as possible to avoid the queue. Hear what happens if you do not arrive early in the morning. Take a look also to the church of San Pietro in Marino and the church Santa Maria Maggiore, which contains the frescoes from the 12th century. Around Sirmione there are a lot of other attractions you could visit. All the other very nice towns of Gardalei, such as Peschiera, Lazzise, Bardolino. Watch my videos on them. Or you could visit Verona, the city of love, which is one hour away by car. Or Venice, two hours. As we have seen, one good reason to visit Sirmione is if you are a lover of the historical heritage starting from the 1st century BC, the area of the Garda Lake, including Sirmione, became a favorite resort for rich families coming from Verona. But there is another very persuasive reason to relax in the thermal baths of Sirmione. And after your thermal baths, like an ancient Roman, not forget to subscribe to my travel channel. Bye.